To a gangster president, he was the perfect henchman. Loyal, resourceful and brutally violent. Yevgeny Prigozhin was a common criminal turned caterer for the Kremlin. Putin's chef, they called him. But he was useful for so much more, serving up the means for one special mission after another. Prigozhin's Wagner group of mercenaries did the president's dirty work for him, subverting American democracy, cyber meddling propping up regimes in Africa in return for lucrative diamond concessions. And when Putin's disastrous war in Ukraine went so badly wrong, he called on Yevgeny Prigozhin again. Wagner pulled off one of the only Russian successes in this war, the capture of the city of Bakhmut. Putin raised Prigozhin up and has now, it seems, destroyed his creature, who turned against him. The crass mishandling of the war by Russia's military leadership infuriated Prigozhin. His rants against them grew more and more angry. Then in one of the most dramatic episodes of this war, he launched a mutiny against them, seizing military headquarters, sending his forces north to march on Moscow. But his rebellion gathered no support. By nightfall, he'd called it off. His fate was now deeply uncertain. The dictator who said he negotiated the end of the coup dismissed claims that Prigozhin was a marked man, about to be whacked in his words. But his powers being eroded, his headquarters raided, comical pictures of him in fancy dress released to the media. His appearances became increasingly sporadic and pathetic. No one should be sentimental about Yevgeny Prigozhin. He was a criminal and a ruthless killer. His favourite means of execution, crushing victims' skulls with a sledgehammer. If he has now been killed by the man who made him in the gangster politics of Putin's Russia, it is a suitably violent ending. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.